Hello everyone, Vasif here. Welcome to the stream. Um, the plan was to play Oxygen Not Included today uh, because it was supposed to be the official release date and it doesn't look like it's released. Um, so I spent some time checking around on Clay's website, their Twitter, Steam, and no one knows what's up. Um, apparently, it's still not ready. Um, they pushed it out. It was supposed to be released last month. But they pushed it out to this month and they gave a date. Real badass which was today. And it's not uh, out of early access. So I don't know what's going on. So I don't know if we're going to play it. How's it going, Pancake? Welcome to the stream. Um, also, weird things happened. Uh, at the beginning, I, I was trying to start at normal time and uh, my OBS just kept crashing. So... How to restart, got all that, and then I got a new chat client, and all kinds of weird stuff came in. Um, and unfortunately, the freaking chat client I use um, that can do the uh, random sound effect commands, that came with an update that got rid of that functionality, which is dumb. And that's really upsetting. Fortunately, I was able to uninstall it and get the old version again, but it's only supported until the end of the month. So... They had a, unfortunately, they had a thing that's like, if it's mission functionality, please fill out this form. Like, yeah, you took out a huge portion of your chat client. Why did you do that? It's like, I use that all the time. So I filled that out. Hopefully, they come out with it again soon. Otherwise, it's going to be really annoying. We're going to, I'm going to miss out on like a third of my sound effects now because, uh, no, maybe not a third, maybe a fifth. Because a lot of them are randomized. Because otherwise, if they weren't, then I'd have a too many um, to deal with. So, yeah. So, that's how uh, today is starting off. So, I don't know what to play now. Um, I tried to do some scrambling to find out what we could do. An idea was we can continue playing Gris. Or Gris. Gris. I don't know how you say it. Um, and go for, like, a completion achievement. Um and find like all the mementos and get all the achievements that sounds a little more i gotta be in the zone i gotta be in the the mental thought and preparedness for that not on the fly like okay you're gonna go achievement hunting you know what i mean that, that just sounds more of a, a drag right now and i forgot my drink upstairs dang it although on a good note the doggo box came in today so you can hear Mama probably chomping on one of her new toys. So we got brand new biddies and stuff. So oh, sorry. I didn't mean to say that word and reach for that. Now Mama's just licking her lips over there. <laughs> Turd bird. Um, so I don't know what to play. Um, if you guys have any ideas what you want to see, um, I could play. I could just play some goofy game uh, with turn on song request, play some Overwatch. Play some Death Garden. Any of those kind of games we could just run with. Um, but right now, I have I have no idea. I'm, I'm coming in completely blindsided on what to play here. And, like, I'm constantly looking up... Um, um, to see, like, if I'm missing something or I need to, like, update my Steam client. And stuff and i just updated my steam client that was another thing that updated um but everyone is saying like yeah launch date officially moved to july moved to july moved to july that's cool um this one says july 17th which is today or yeah today um yep yep same same post goodness yeah i just i don't know what to do um i did have a developer contact me and give me a key for their game that looked pretty interesting we could always try that it looks very uh faster than light-esque so that's something we can try um other than that uh my day was other than what's happening right now in the sh the scramble my day was doing pretty well how was yours pancake 
Oh, I can't remember what that game I get. Oh, yeah. Shortest trip to Earth. It's not installed. And it's in beta. Let's install it just in case. Just in case that's something we decide to play. Unfortunately, if we decide to play like Overwatch, I'd have to switch scenes, which freaks out uh, OBS sometimes. So let's uh, install this game and see how it works. Wow, it's only 400 megs. That's really small. All right. Um. Finish installing, sweet. All right, let's switch over to the stream. Cancel that. Thank you. All right, um, let's go to switch this up here. What was it called? Shortest trip to Earth. That's it. All right, bam. Bam. We could play some Mario Maker. Unfortunately, I didn't. I haven't purchased uh, the dumb online subscription you need to play it, which is a bummer. Boeing. Oh, I'm assuming boring. We're done with the floors. Oh, dude, you were still working on that? That's gnarly. And hiding for long periods of time. Oh, man, that's rough. Hello from the developers of Shortest Trip to Earth. This is work in progress. Visit the Steam forums. All right, good to know. So, um, the developer actually contacted me and asked if I wanted to play this game. They had a competition going on um, to see how far you could get, upload your footage, and you could win some money and stuff like that. Um, and I contact, I responded back to them multiple times, like, "Yo." Yeah, send me send me a Kia. I would love to play your game and check it out and whatever, whatever. And um, I realized it came from like three different sources. So I was like, okay, well, I'll send an email to each of the source afterwards. And this was on Friday. The competition was this weekend and I didn't get the email until Monday. So unfortunately, I didn't participate in the competition, but they gave me a key. Um, so I'm cool with that. Hey, Sabrina, how's it going? Welcome to the stream, my friend. The booty slapping. Um, but maybe maybe we'll just play this game. It looks interesting. Uh, let me go and update this. Shortest. Hey, wow, it's on Twitch. That's cool. Blam. Nine huge areas to tackle. My goodness, man, that's messed up. Seriously, like. Hmm. Teachers do not get paid enough for that. All right, so let's uh, play this tutorial here. Hello, Captain. I'm Athena, the core AI in this ship. Welcome to the ship management tutorial. You are currently in the star system view. Okay. You can see our ship and various stellar objects in this view. You cannot see much detail at the moment because you have not installed a long range sensor yet. Look at the top of the screen. All status messages appear there. For example, you need engines to move. Click on the ship button that will take us to ship view. All right. Whoa. Look at my Hello, little ship. Ben. Yuri, what up, my dude? How's it going? Welcome to the stream. Hello, and Sarah, we got everyone ben. piling in now. How's everyone? Oh my gosh, you have more schools to do? <laughs> oh, pancake. Are you keeping yourself, like, not sore and stuff? Like, stretching and not killing your body? Oh, man. As you can see, our ship is currently empty, but the different kinds of module slots indicated their Ooh, shape. Okay, Sometimes turn. weapon slots also have big yellow numbers on them. Okay. We Must have cooks. Okay, Must have cooks. From Yuri and Sarah, say thank you for the cookies. Here's both of them. Um, yum, yum. Oh, sick. I grabbed four perfectly. Nom, nom, nom. Good stuff. Uh, we got the doggies new treats in, so we're all set here. But welcome, everyone. Uh, I know, as I was saying earlier, we were supposed to play Oxygen Not Included, but the devs have not 
officially released it like they were supposed to today, so don't know what's going on there. Oh, you're only responsible for your own school. Okay, I was gonna say that's super messed up. That's that should be illegal if they're sending you to other schools to do flooring and stuff. Woof. Okay. As you can see, our ship is currently empty. Oh, I already read that. All right, I got little bugs or something floating around. It's a bit loud. All right. Really? I can barely even hear it. But thank you for letting me know. That's always appreciated. How's that? But they have been trying to send us to help out. Yeah, see, that's messed up. That's, um... That's basic sweatshop stuff, in my opinion. That's messed up. No. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, I can barely hear the music. But I appreciate you guys letting me know. Uh, I guess we're going to salvage some materials. Start by installing the reactor into one of the internal module slots at the back of the ship. Leave slots in the front empty for weapons modules, okay? Micro reactor into one of the internal module slots at the back of the ship. Leave slots in the front empty. Okay. So. So is this a, this is a module. Except it's only engines. Okay. I'm going to drop it here. Except normal. Let me do it. Left click to select, then right click. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Look at Built as a thing. Hold down the middle mouse button and drag in order to pan view around. Use scroll button to zoom. You can additionally pan view using WASD. Okay. Cool. Tired of having teenagers around school again? Okay, now the music's loud. Jeez! You're going international in a few weeks. Sweet. Where are you going? And for how long? Going to dive Bon Air. Ooh. Be sure to take a look at the pictures and post them in Discord. I'd like to see. As you can see at the left, the reactor generates power, which can be used by other modules. Now, next, solve the organics container. Again, into internal slot. Organics are used for feeding and healing your crew. So, no power. Organics container. Okay. Uh, here. Sure, right there. Done. Now let's install the engines, which we obviously need for moving. It also gives a significant evasion bonus against enemy attacks. So this is gonna, yeah. Sick. But we still cannot move around because we have no fuel or fuel tanks. Install both fuel tanks into internal slots. I'm assuming I want them next to these, right? No idea. That's where I'm going to put them though. I like symmetry. First time to the Southern Hemisphere. Nice! <laughs> Yuri beat me. <laughs> <laughs> you should spend your love to date. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm glad you guys are going to get away and do some diving. That's super cool. Oh no, that's upsetting, Sabrina. What is this? Oh. Let's also install an additional container for exploring exotics. You need it later on. What's an exotic? Sure. Put it there. The command bridge can only run can run many modules remotely if it has an operator sitting in the control room. Control room. Bam. Okay. We now have minimal capacity to move around, but we need a long range sensor to see distant objects. Install the sensor into the internal slot. It's just letting me choose randomly? Okay. Uh here. Uh no. Uh uh. Uh, dang it, I would have, I can replace it. Whatever, put it there. 
I didn't push the right button. Done. Notice that the sensor module shows lack of power icon. Install another reactor to get more power. Okay. Damn it. Uh. Alright, so now I need to do a fuel tank, right? I don't like having fuel next to the outside of my ship. Wow, the music just cranked up when I dropped that one. If you can click on the module, you see module info panel. It has additional info that not shown in the hover text. When you are done inspecting the modules, switch the view between your ship and star system by pressing tab. Okay, this is an interesting game. super upsetting <laughs> I love the support of the, the community guys you guys are awesome when you hover over the cursor around the star systems map you can see the resources cost of moving around see that little white dot on the map it's an unknown point of interest this tell me more the bright circle around our ship is sensor range. The sensor range must touch a known object to start remotely scanning them. Fly closer to that point of interest, but don't dive into it before remote scanning is complete. I recommend scanning everything before closing in to avoid unpleasant surprises. Well, how do I go there? Oh. Whoosh. Shipwreck. The ship. The wreck. Wreckage is damaged beyond repair. It might contain valuable resources we could salvage. Send crew. I think that's what we're going to do. <laughs> good news, though. Oh, let's let's see some of this good news. I, I like good news. Oh, man, my game closes every time I click out of that. That's annoying. You have acquired my sewing machine and. Blank. Are you making a blanket for someone? Are you making a blanket for Sabrina? I'd love that, but I think my parents would be okay with me traveling the world. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you guys are funny. Yep, yep, still a baby. <laughs> Alright, let's send in a crew. The wreckage contained an intact module and the location of a secret warehouse hidden nearby. It has been added to the star system map. Sweet. What is this? Standard issue. What's that say? Cryo sleep? Cryo sleep times six? Crew and cryo sleep requires no organics. Oh, cool. Oh, that's super cool. Where's my organics? Continuous research, ship engine, life support. Oh my god, there's so many icons. I can reject that. Oh, that's adorable, Pancake. Be sure to post some pictures of your progress on Discord. I'd love to see that as well. You can live vicariously. There you go. There you go. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's fate. What is fate? Organics. Here we go. Uh, So I use 100 organics per... Whoosh. Why can't I travel there? Whoosh. No, oh, that's tutorial start. Um. Didn't it say, um. It found, uh. A wreck somewhere? Where is it? You ran out of training resources. So maybe it's wanting me to build these. Oh, yeah. It should have just told me it wanted me to build them. Okay. We even obtained this cryosleep module. Crew and cryosleep do not consume organics and might heal injuries over time. That's cool. For now, leave one crew member to operate the bridge and send others to cryosleep. How do I do that? What is this? Bridge not functional. Oh my god. 
it's so hard to see on my TV that's forever far away. Extinguish, repair, operate, attack. Click to assign crew to cry asleep. Bam. Can I whoosh like this? Uh. Uh. No. I just. Uh. Attack, operate, repair. No, where's the cryo seat button? Dang it. Oh, that can't be. Oh, come on. Assignment. How about that? No. Select a roll. Clack. <laughs> Assign you to cryo sleep. Can I do that? <gasps> Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before we do that, health activity bridge skill. We want. Yeah, look at us thinking ahead. Uh, you are our bridge person. And the rest of you can go take a nap. Nap time. I'm going to take some nap time. Nap time is best time. All right. I think that's what we needed. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, people think you're abducting children. Sounds like a terrible idea. Okay, uh, the brickship also contained info about hidden warehouse. It has been added to the star system map. Go and check that out. There, now it showed up. Okay. Hidden warehouse. Whoosh. We've reached a warehouse. It's built into a large asteroid for extra stealth and protection. No active systems of life signs detected. The main entrance is armored. We have to force our way in. Break into the warehouse. Crap. Oh no, did I lose someone? Accident during salvage operation. A small explosive trap exploded in the warehouse during the salvage operation, causing minor damage to one of the crew members. Crew total hit point. One. I found a... Did I find a module and some fuel? Is that what that's saying? Sick. What is this? Warp drive. Heckin' yeah. Oh, man. All my slots are getting filled, yo. I guess it's going there. Whoop. The salvage warp drive allows us to jump between star systems. I like how um, bolded items become bolded after she says it. And escape from combat. The warp drive charges instantly during accelerated time, but it will be slowed if there are damages or dangers or problems. Okay. Oh boy. And you were born off base? Whoa, really? Open the sector map and click on it's like Juhu star system by left clicking on it in the warp destination. Okay. Juhu! Let's go. Are we there? Okay, we're there. That's cool. Stations and some other places are visible even without scanning with them with short range sensors because they are broadcasting their identity publicly. Please fly into this training gear station. Automated station training equipment. Whoosh. From now on, scrapping modules is possible. Oh, it grabbed my ship. Click on the exotic artifact in the storage to open its info panel, which has the scrap module button. Leave the resources pack in the module storage. You need them later. What? Oh my gosh, this game is gigantous already. Oh, goodness. Okay. Click on the exotic artifact in the storage. The exotic. Okay. There's so many panels. Which has the scrap modules button. Scrap module. Please see. Please, please sell all the exotics we gained from scrapping. Selling resources and stations will be your main source of income. Okay. Uh, 
exotics. How do I sell? Ship repairs modules. Ooh. Well, how do I sell it? Please sell all the exotics we gained. Yeah, I'm trying to. Exotics. What do I click on? Sell. That's interesting. Now that you have enough credits, let's equip the ship for combat. For starters, you need to buy and then install a resources container, type ESM1, and a shield generator. Modules can be only bought if you have empty slots in the module storage. Okay. Uh, shield generator, cannon, industrial laser. Okay. So, it said shield generator, right? Bing! And then, um... Heavy rocket launcher. Industrial laser. A resource container. Think I need one of those? Is it just gonna keep letting me buy these? ESM-1. That's the ESM one. Cool. And the shield generator. Okay, so I can do this. Okay, okay, okay. So here's my resource container. I'm gonna pop that here. There we go. And then we'll put the shield generator. I don't like it in the back because that makes it easier to hit. Put it there. Hey, look, we have a bubble. We got some bubble. Oh my goodness, catching up on chat. Sorry, guys. Oh, you can actually go to your the courthouse and get a birth certificate? Can you really? I didn't know that. Can you use that for a social security card too? Because I lost mine. Actually, that's not necessarily fully true. One of my foster dogs got a hold of my wallet, I think. And buried it somewhere in my yard. <laughs> and that had my social security card in it. Which was fun. Eight months and two hundred dollars. Holy crap. Oh, oh, go oh, chat freaked out for a second there. There we go. Yeah, you would have had totally dual citizenship. That'd be cool. You get like eight replacements in your life. I gotcha. Okay, so I got a bubble. The upcoming combat training is a great opportunity to test out different types of weapons. Please buy and install the three weapons available. Okay. Buy. Buy. Nope. Buy. Buy. All right. Zoom in. What is this? This is a cannon. We're going to install that. Wait, what? I can't install it here? That's lame. Why can't I install it there? Cannon. Laser. Um, why can't I install it here? Oh, hybrid module. Accepts points, defense, and internal modules. So I need to replace my shield generator with a... Laser's gonna go here. Shield module will go. Yeah, okay, figured it out. Bam, there we go. As you can see from the red icons above modules, our ship weapons are currently turned off and have no crew. Additionally, the rocket launchers need explosives and the cannon needs both metal and explosives as ammo. Oh my gosh. Got it, weapons and ammo and power. 
To alleviate your ammo problems, scrap one explosive pack and one metal pack in our module storage. Okay. Module. Wait, what? They're not named. Scrap one explosive pack and one metal pack. Resource, resource. It doesn't tell me which is which. I guess E. Standard explosives, okay. And one metal. M, okay. Please open the sector again to use your warp drives and jump to helpful something the star system. Wrong button. Hefoy! That's where we're going. Uh, warp. Ew. Yeah, she didn't have a toy, Hippo. Can't jump to the same star. Oh, I'm already there. Red circles on star system maps are hostile fleet threat areas. Fleets have unusually more than one, or have usually more than one ship, but this one is comprised of only a single automated ship. Ready for our target practice. Okay. So. Yeah, I'm coming at you. Combat training to practice. Target moves in to attack us. It is armed with both lasers and projectile weapons. Currently, our weapons are remotely operated by the bridge. The B symbol. Where's the B symbol? They're not marked by a B symbol. Is that a B? That looks like a... Because this is definitely an A. I can't tell if that's actually B. Okay. This means they are working, but without accuracy and recharge bonus from your crew. Send a crew member with gunnery skill to operate each weapon to ensure max accuracy bonus. Okay. Where's my uh, crew friends? Crew is a button, right? Storage status. Can I click on this and assign someone instead? Attack, move, place the storage, grab. Choose targets. How do I choose my crew? Oh, defreeze. There we go. Wasn't there a crew button? Just do that, I guess. Where's the gunnery skill? Shield gunnery. Right, here's a three. We're going to assign you to weapon. And then assign you to weapon. Oh, here's a three. And assign you to weapon. Weapon. Yeah. I couldn't choose which ones. Otherwise, I didn't do it right. Yeah, come at me. Rusty ship. Press space to show to slow time so you can prepare. Starting a ship for ship combat resets weapons and warp charge because of a need to recalibrate. Interesting. All right, pause. For starters, please check out the help summary about aiming with weapons. It's essential to understand this. If you are to survive any real, show me. Oh my god! Uh, you can't be honest. Don't want me to read all this right. Shooting here is not the best option because some or all of the shots might completely miss the ship. Shooting here is great because none of the shots will miss the ship and some might even hit important modules like weapons. Yeah, that makes sense. Weapons can be selected by clicking on them on the ship or by the quick selection bar. Pressing a number 1 to 9 on your keyboard is the fastest way to select a weapon. 1. That's cryo sleep. After selecting a weapon, hover the cursor over the enemy ship. The striped square at the end of the UI cone is where the weapon shot will be landing. 
fire with the right click. Oh, there's an engine. Point defense. Shield generator. So blam. So we're going to laser that. Laser that. Bam. There we go. Look at that. There we go. Fire with right click. Get him. Bang, bang. To make sure your shots land on important enemy modules like shield generators, weapons, or reactors, remember that the shot landing area is over the edges of the largest or the target ship. Some shots might miss completely. Yeah, I already figured that out. Get him! Bang, bang! You're missing. Wait, did you guys do it? Hey, his ship is gone. Bang. Ah! No, stop. I'm trying to... Okay. Module damage. Damage modules stop working and are colored red until repaired. Modules can be repaired only by your crew. And if you have enough synthetics. Oh my goodness. Is this just a weird looking version of FTL? Actually, um, a lot of this is a beta version of a new game that all the reviews that I'm seeing about it is that this is a, a worthy successor to FTL. So it'd be very interesting to see because it looks a lot like FTL, but it already has a crap ton more information to it. <laughs> Um, if you have enough synthetics, it says. Okay. Repairing each module hit point needs 10 synthetics. Scrap the synthetics packages from your module. Okay. So this is a th synthetic. Scrap it up. Module repairs are possible if you have obtained necessary resources by scrapping the synthetics package from the module storage. Just did that. Yes, I have the synthetic for repair. To start repairing your module, select crew and right click on the broken module. Okay. Uh, is there a repair person? Bridge. Activity, sensor, gunnery, shield, repair. They're the same. So you are a repairer and you will be a shielder. I thought there was a shield. Oh, there's a firefighter. Security bridge Sensor weapon Shield there you go have fun with your new assignments Select a crew and right click on the broken module uh, Select you and right click on the broken module If your weapons run out of ammo always check if you have something in the module storage that might help currently We should still have metal explosives and packages in storage to survive really difficult battles, designate one, two, three crew as repair officers. From crew info opens up crew selecting. Repair officer automatically try to repair modules and also ship damage tokens. Also ship damage tokens. Each damage ship HP creates a damage token. Okay, it's explaining whatever that was talking about. On a ship hole. If the token is inside the ship walls, it can be only repaired at repair stations. Repairing one HP costs 30 metal when repairing with the crew or 25 with repair stations. Got it. You can switch to the ship external view to see what it looks like. Uh... Oh, cool. Look at my ship. It looks like a friggin hot rod. Okay. Fragger turns 30 on the 31st. Nice. <laughs> you guys are funny. Uh, on pause. Keep shooting. Bang. I win. We melted that ship. 
Salvage complete. Our utility bots have salvaged all resources left on the battlefield. Hooray. The most valuable keyboard shortcuts during battle are F5. Excuse me. F5 for toggling weapon quick selection UI. And numbers 1 to 9 for selecting weapons and using K for switching off modules. F5. Switching modules on and off. Okay, I will try to remember that was exactly what I was about to say. The star system has an exit warp gate. It allows traveling into the next space sector. Make sure you are in star system view to fly into it. Star system view. Wait, what? I am in star system view. That's a star. The heckin' That's not a warp gate, is it? Okay, it is. Didn't say it was. Congratulations, you survived the training session. Shortest trip is a roguelike with permadeath, and the difficulty balancing is currently a work in progress, so it'll be easier in the final version. Until then, expect the game to be a fairly brutal difficulty. That That doesn't sound good. Get it, buddy. <laughs> Oh, get the bonus laps. <laughs> oh, the bonus laps. Okay, we got a nuke runner. New ship unlocked. Look at it. It's a goofy. It looks like a toaster. Hello. Birch! Again. Hello, my friend! With the 10 bitties! You want some bitties from Birch? She's giving you some bitties. Say, thank you for the bitties. Thank you for the bitties. So delicious. You want some yum, 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 yum cookies? Yum, 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 yum. How are you doing, my friend? Welcome, welcome. We are uh, goofing off playing random games. Trying to decide what I want to do. Um, if I don't hear anything about oxygen not included by tomorrow, get flashy lights. Hey, Pancake, thank you for the host. I appreciate it. Um, as I was saying, if we don't hear anything about oxygen not included by tomorrow, like a couple hours before stream time, I may actually start playing Ashen, which looks really awesome and I really wanted to play it. Uh, but I didn't have time before between finishing Final Fantasy 7 and oxygen not included getting released. But now since this oxygen not included is in limbo, screw it. Might as well just play some Ashen. It looks really fun. You're waiting for Bunny to get here. Is she actually, um, like coming into town already? <laughs> You're just breaking down the statistics before getting married, aren't you, bud? It's like, wait, 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 wait. Yes, I will now propose. <laughs> That's awesome. In practice, yeah, exactly. Oh, okay, okay, cool, cool. I'm excited to see her. Um, I let Yeti know, and he's down to chill. Um, if you guys make it down, uh, we should go do something for sure. Choose ship for next run. Look at this little goofy toaster. Whoa, that's a ship. Default name: Fierce Sincerity. Rogue rat. <laughs> Look at it. These ships are goofy. Pumpkin hammer. Atlas. Blue star. Warp shell. That looks like a, a horseshoe crab. The endurance. Whoa. Will be added to the game during early access. I am in early access. I guess I'm technically in the beta. These are goofy. Are these identical? No. Nope. All right, that's more accuracy, more deflection, more evasion, less crew. Everything is better except for less crew. Let's go with the toaster. Ow. Heck yeah, dude. That, that was my plan. I'm gonna... I was engaged to be engaged. <laughs> um, 
we wanted to literally have like no expensive wedding. We were just gonna pool all the money to go on like a vacation and be like, yo, we're getting married here. If you want to come, you're welcome to join us here. We, of course, we would pay for like the flights and stuff for uh, the wedding party because that's kind of messed up to be like, yo, hey, you want to be my best man? He's like, oh, man, I'd be heckin' honored. Like, sweet. It's in Jamaica. You need to come up with like two grand in a couple months. And they'd be like, what? I'm like, no, nah, that's not cool. So we were going to pay for the wedding party and stuff, but that's right. It's like, man, that's a lot of money for a party. I want a vacation for that, man. Yeah, see, you already, you already know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, see, oh, I'm, I'm with you on that one, Yuri. Um, hey, doggo. You're just not letting me touch my mouse. She keeps booping my hand. It's like, I know I need you to pet me. Stanley Tan. Oh my gosh. This game has so much to it. And I can barely read it because it's so stinking far away. Alright, since there's a bunch of you guys here. Question for you guys. Do you want... What would you guys like to see? Would you like to try another game and move forward with that? Or would you like to like play like an Overwatch or something and have song requests and just have like a chill hangout? Because Hi, how are you? Hi, you want face pets? Mwah. Give them, give them face pets. Because I'm kind of at a loss right now. Um, This game has way too much for me to jive into right now. And I can barely read it because it's so tiny. Um, and I feel like I would not be as a good stream for this game right now. Settings. There's a UI volume. Wow. 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 Yes, that was a weird exit picture. Okay. Uh, chill hangout? Alright. Hold on a minute, let me catch up on chat make sure I'm not losing anything here. Oh, that, yeah. That's unfortunate when that stuff happens, Yuri. I'm sorry, man. Um. Well, I will get this started up. Hold on a second. I'm gonna... Start up a, a download. Of, uh... Epic Games. 